Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Wheat Pete here with a Wheat School for RealAgriculture.com. You hear me talk lots about phosphorus and how important phosphorus is in the wheat crop. Standing in the long-term phosphorus and potash research trials at Lucan, such a cool story. So, in front of me, we have all this great wheat. We broadcast fertilizer this way on that strip. We have a little bit of seed place phosphorus here. It's not a zero strip. And yet you can see where we broadcast nothing, look at how much poorer this wheat is. And in these research trials, we're finding that even over here, where I have 100 pounds a map, so I have a significant amount of phosphorus with the seed over here, here I have 90 pounds of a 52828, so not as much phosphorus, a little more potash, Wheat needs phosphorus, and much as we do with the seed, we can't quite match where we build that base fertility up. So in that block, we've spread phosphorus and potash this way. The soil test, maybe a six or an eight for phosphorus, a little bit of variability, a 90 to a, a, an 80, maybe hundreds for potash. Not horrendous, but low enough it makes a difference. In these research trials, at least, at the very least, having good base fertility is giving us an additional 10 bushels per acre in wheat yield. And when we go to adding MAP on top of good base fertility, we get three or four bushels. When we come up here and we have poor base fertility and we add that MAP, we add a significant amount of phosphorus, we're picking up 15 to 20 bushels. So really big yield gains with that seed place phosphorus, but it just drives home the point how significant phosphorus fertility is in the wheat crop. And you just simply can't grow wheat without phosphorus. The drill, the seeder runs out of map or runs out of phosphorus, you stop seeding. That's just all there is to it. To be a real wheat grower, phosphorus with the seed.